My name is Edward Bertinsky, and this is how I've made this photograph. When I was in China, I had gone to this location where I wanted to show aqua farming in China, and I felt it was necessary to get that into the water film and into my water book project. So to make this image, uh, it took three people. Uh, the first person, the key person, was the helicopter operator. Uh, and of course, the fate of the whole rig, which was over $200,000 between the helicopter and my uh, camera, was in his hands. So he needed to be uh, very steady with what he was doing. So the um, helicopter operator, and then there's an operator who just operates the head and I can say, okay, move it a bit to the left, move it right, move it down, straighten out the horizon, and then I control the shutter release. So then when I like the shot and I like the composition, I would then push the button, and then I can see that the camera was actually shooting because it would make a flicker, because we're, we were actually uh, showing what the viewfinder of the Hasselblad was seeing. So we had a little video camera in the eyepiece projecting and sending the image, the video image back to the small monitor with which I was composing. The helicopter had about a 10 minute um, period of time it could be in the air and then you have to bring it back. So 10 minutes was the full length of the flight, so you have to get up in the air, uh, get to the location, hover for the shot, come back and have enough time to land it safely. During that shoot, we probably had the helicopter up maybe eight times. That's about all he could do with all his batteries. So every time he came down, he had to put a whole new set of batteries on, and then it takes the whole night to recharge all those batteries. Once I had it, you know, I've got it on my computer, I go into 100%, I look in the background, foreground, I go around the whole image, and then I, I look at it as, a, as an image and I say, I've got it, so then I know uh, that I've, I've got the image and it will print to this size. It was an interesting uh, challenge. It was one of the most challenging uh, images that, I, that I've ever had to make, but uh, it was exciting to have the results turn out as I wanted them.